A chilling prediction about the coming winter. Some parts of the U.S. are going to get hit hard and the storms will be unpredictable. Joining me now from San Diego is Dr. Reese Halter, a conservation biologist from California Lutheran University. Reese is also the author of Wild Weather, the Truth Behind Global Warming. Good morning to you. Good morning, Alex. Give me the prediction how winter is going to look like this year. Well, it's going to be a little schizophrenic, as I'm told. Uh, we're going to have some wet weather, quite a bit of wet weather in the Pacific Northwest, and the Great Lakes and, and the uh, Northeast are going to have snow, as well as very cold weather, I'm told, in the Midwest and, and over in the Atlantic. And, of course, from California to the Carolinas and south, we're going to see a lot of dry uh, conditions, Alex. Huh, okay. What about the La Nina effect this time around? What exactly is that, and where is that going to play itself out? Okay, well, the La Nina is the cooling effect that's coming in from the equatorial and eastern Pacific. It's the ocean, and uh, it, it totally affects the weather as, as we know it. And the interesting thing this week was 69 scientists from eight countries have uh, uh, very closely looked at the Arctic, mm -hmm. and we're missing a lot of ice. And that ice is directly correlated, you see, with the cold weather that is, uh, that's predicted to happen uh, in the Northeast and, and the Atlantic this year. Imagine uh, our old refrigerators. We used to have the freezer on the top. Mm -hmm. The freezer on the top is like the Arctic, and it, in, in the old days, the Arctic was cold and self-contained. But as the Earth is starting to warm up, the cold blobs from the top of our freezer are drifting south. Mm -hmm. So it's all upside down, Alex. Yeah, you know what's interesting? You talk about California to the Carolinas being dry. That's got to spark concerns about um, fires and the like in the winter. Yeah. Hugely, and, and as a matter of fact, the real thing we're looking at is this awful word drought. Yeah. Uh, Lake Mead, which supplies 25 million people water from holding back the Colorado, mm -hmm. and 16% of the electricity in LA is at an all time low. As a matter uh -oh. of fact, last Sunday it reached, uh, it, it reached the lowest point since it was filled in 1937. So, and the predictions for the next 20 years are very buck bone dry Alex that's not really good what about um, no. you know we saw colossal snow in the mid-atlantic region uh, and up through into New England last year we're we gonna see that again or no yeah the, uh, yes we are there's a there's a good chance of that and and uh, you know the weather is really wild we're having uh, higher highs lower lows and mega amounts of, of water I mean get this last year in Arkansas they had the most amount of rain since 1895 since they've been keeping records and yet now the state, 25% of the state, Alex, is in severe drought. Wow. Okay, Dr. Reese Halter, we appreciate your sharing that with us. Author of Wild Weather, The Truth Behind Global Warming. It's all playing into effect is why we brought you on here today. Thanks so much, Reese. Thank you.